So, yeah, we're back from Coida Brennan, back to work, a week at work, teaching stuff, all that stuff that needs to be done that you never think of, but it all adds up and becomes a... Anyway, my point was, sometimes it feels like it's too much effort to take time off work, right? You've got to work twice as hard before you go away to make sure everything's in place so you can then go away. And when you come back, you've got to work twice as hard to catch up again. But nonetheless, it is, it is still worth it. For once, I did actually feel pretty good when I came back, pretty relaxed, pretty chilled out. I got blue skies all day long and I'm stuck in here working. Maybe it's time to pack it up and go home. What should we do this weekend? Is it just me? Or do you guys feel similarly? Probably just me, right? And working hard and hard work is, is kind of its own reward that that being productive, that getting stuff done. But you do get stuck in such a routine, daily routine, weekly routine, monthly routine, you kind of lose sight of it, don't you? And then when you break out of it, you see it again. You see what you were stuck in. Uh, so what happens when I break out of my routine and have all the time in the world? Uh, I fall asleep a lot, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> wherever and whenever I can. Something I'm trying to do is use my phone less, pick up my phone less, less social media, less YouTube stats, less news, because it doesn't make me happy, you know? So if I pick up my phone less, look out the window more, sit down on the sofa quietly more, I fall asleep. What, what does that say? So of course you remember my New Year's resolution that I started in about September of no more rushing. It's working quite well, it's quite nice actually not rushing around, forcing myself to give myself time. Little thing, giving myself time to, to think and to slow down a little bit. This time of year, because it's so wet and because the world doesn't dry very quickly around here and the really good thing to do in the autumn is mountain biking Hey dude Squirrel season When we got back from Coy to Brennan um, I ordered some new brakes for Kim's bike She's got, she's got disc brakes Now her bikes are some years old She's quite attached to hers I'm quite attached to mine And she's got um, cable disc brakes though which aren't the greatest and hydraulic disc brakes have got better and better and cheaper and cheaper over the years so I bought her a set of hydraulic disc brakes and fitted those this week super easy to fit but not a super cheap upgrade so let's see if she wants to go to Avon mountain bike park this afternoon maybe do pen his something like that see what she thinks of them huh. Big one. It wasn't even that windy last night.
was I going to say? Can't remember. I'm just enjoying being out on the trail too much. talk him into this a little bit because you're not too keen on the big long ascent are you? We're doing, uh, what are we doing? Pen Heath. Pen Heath, yeah. Um, big long climb up the hill, so a little descent, big long climb up the hill, go left, bigger climb and then red graded route so longish descent with some rocky technical bits and so on. Should be good right? Yeah. South Wales is feeling a bit like North Wales today. So the other thing about us going on holiday and trying to go on holiday as a family in these short breaks is of course that Jack is uh, he's doing his A-levels, he's only got another year or so and then he'll be leaving the family, he'll be flying the nest. So it's great that he wanted to come out and do some mountain biking, we could do some stuff together and he, you know, properly enjoyed it. But we've only got a couple more years of that and then, it's a weird thought, because you know, he's been around forever. He's pretty important to us. <laughs> Good. Funny thing is that for some years now, I know I've been working too much and too hard, but then I also know I get bored easily. So it's, it's part of that. But I get stuck into routine. That's part of training as well. When you're training to get fit enough to do something, you, you see the routine as everything and you hate breaking it. Oh, it's pretty. But uh, taking holidays and hopefully taking more holidays forces us to break that routine. But, uh, I'm not really, well, I'm starting to do a little bit less. But as I'm starting to do a little bit less, Kim's business is starting to get going. Go to everystitch.co.uk, is that right? Yep. And uh, Kim makes things, crochet, felt, stuff like that. Have a look, you'll see. And as I'm trying to work less, <laughs> I'm trying to work more. <laughs> not trying, well, well succeeding. Yeah, trying. People are asking you to do more because they really like your I'm stuff. Trying to do what I want to do. It's really it. exactly stuff you want to do, but it's really taking off and it takes time. My skills have improved. I did that a lot faster than last time. Launched down those rocky bits. You did. Yeah, this might not end well. The top. So pen here is pen here continues deeper into the woods and the hillside and a little bit more remote. There might be a bit more climbing but all right. Pretty much the top I think aren't we? Yeah, well it does it does say the top. Well that answers that question. Yes it does block it again. Yeah this is getting quite steep. Well, that's part of the difference between red roots and blue roots is that you do need more fitness. You now a little bit more uh, What's the word? No, uh, no. Committing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a really long bit of rocky technical single track that, yeah. isn't it? Not too tough, but no. just tough enough to tire you out. It's quite tiring. Yeah, it is quite tiring. I just didn't want to fluff it up and come off. Yeah, absolutely. Down, please. That's good though, 
nice and steep and technical and rocky. Yeah. It's, it's, it's rubbish when it doesn't work properly, isn't it? Right. Yeah, one in, and then you get the other one going, and then you get to this really rocky bit, and you're trying to get your cleat, and you can't, you can't do it, you can't keep the flow. Yeah, rubbish, right, new pedals, new cleats. Last bit then, I think. Your hands are warm, eh? My feet are soaking around to freezing as well. Oh, hands are bloody freezing. Not just me then. Oh, cafe. Oh, it's bad to be sure it's getting dark. Ah, should have put my winter gloves on. Should have had a. I've been too hot on winter gloves, see? My hands are freezing because they're wet, but I've got to put my winter gloves on. Too I'm hot sounds good right now. Boiling. So is it good with the brakes? Yeah, brakes great. But now I've got to do the pedals. Yeah, they were shocking. Alright, okay. Alright, get warm. You lot, go away. See you next week.